James Kaufman will news report today. Ladies and gentlemen, today we've seen a kilogram, not kilogram, but kilogram. Now I want to first shout out to the people that uh, gave me, well, tickets to the opening of the club. Only went for an hour, but it was open everything, and I really appreciate y'all subscribers sent that to me, and I really, really appreciate it. So I did show face for an hour, and a couple of people actually noticed me. So, back to a kilogram. A way to display the entire geomagnetic storm at a glance is using kilograms. It's a unit of measurement that was adopted just for geomagnetic storms. Aurora Borealis, Aurora Australis, and they measure the intensity of the storms. Kilograms, K E O G R A M S, kilograms, okay? I wish it was kilos, but it's not. <laughs> So, the three strongest geomagnetic storms of solar cycle 25 that we're in right now were all actually shooting out kilograms, kilograms of energy. They call it uh, energetic substorms of dust and dawn intensity. Now, there's some, well, unagreement about when solar cycle 25 peaked. And I don't even know if it's peaked yet. Based on the regular cycles, it should not have. But NASA says it peaked in 2024 now. They said it would peak in 2026. So they're talking out of their ass as usual. Now, this is important because they say this only happens at our solar max and coming off a of solar max. And I guess we saw our biggest... K-E-O-G-R-A-M kilogram last night, right? It's a new measurement, a new word that NASA made up, as they always do, right? So with that said, God bless you guys. Share and subscribe. Always remember, anything's possible in bizarre ass world. Not our world anymore. God bless.